Hey there, it's Mike. Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. And today we're going to talk about the trusty Godox 8200 and the infamous power switch failure that you can run into. Um, this is my 8200 here that I use uh, for my, my go-to light. 90% of the properties I photograph for real estate, this is what I'm using, this thing. The best compact light I've ever owned. In fact, one of the first videos I've ever done on YouTube was a review of this bad boy. So you can check that out. I'll have a link somewhere. But anyway, um, this is what I'm using day to day. I love it. I got my pistol grip here, right here. Okay, so I can grip it better when I'm pointing it around, things like that. And this is the second one I've owned. Uh, the first one I did in technical terms, a fry the power switch on it. And that was because I was constantly turning this unit on and off during the course of a property shoot. So if that's happening dozens and dozens and dozens of times a day, two, three, maybe even four properties a day, the power switch on this just cannot handle that. You know, it's just this little switch on the side here. It's, it doesn't stick out. It's kind of melded into the side so they can make this nice and smooth, which is great. Don't get me wrong, but there's, a, there's obviously some sort of design flaw when they made this. But um, so after a while, you just, you couldn't either shut it off or you couldn't turn it on. The power switch just, just didn't work. So you'd have to pop out the battery. You know, that would, that would be the way to, you know, in between shots or whatever. So if you're doing real estate photography, probably watching this channel because that's who it's geared towards. But, you know, if you're doing an ambient shot and then you're doing a flash on, then another ambient shot, you know, you'd have to turn the power off to this and, and that, that's a big problem. So my first one probably lasted less than a year and a half from constantly doing that. I'm surprised it made it that long actually, but, um, so I'm going to talk about the solution to that, at least for me, what I do. And there's the, the, the solution that I don't do, but I know a lot of other photographers do, real estate photographers, is that they will just turn the trigger off on their camera so it won't light it, so it won't, it won't fire off. They keep the power on, they just turn the trigger off. Um, on the camera and um, I kind of tried that a little bit but I don't like the fact that I kind of had to really hold the camera still and, and jiggle it you know it's not pressing the shutter you actually are kind of moving that power button on the trigger back and forth I just I didn't want to mess with the camera um, and, and risk you know moving it just a hair to make those layers you know misaligned in, in Photoshop so um, that's that's one of the big solutions that, that people are are doing is that and I don't do that the other issue with that for me is that I would turn it off and then I'd forget I turned it off and I'd be you know away from the camera like 10 feet trying to light something and it wouldn't go off and then I remember oh yeah so I have to go over and turn the trigger on and then go back and, and light it and it's just you know it's not the end of the world but if that's happening multiple times a day it's just very irritating so I didn't want to deal with that so here's what I do um, when I have, when I'm using this, you know, I have this, this pistol grip on here. Um, and what I do is when I first use it on a property, I turn the light on. So I turn this on and it, it never gets turned off. And I just simply put it in my pocket when I, when I'm not using it. Okay. If I'm wearing jeans, I put it in my back pocket. If I'm wearing khakis, I put it in my front pocket and I have my trigger, my Godox trigger, um, the R2, I have that set so that um, when I when it when this flash fires, I have it automatically set that it goes down to like a 64th of a power. So boom, I take the shot. It's already at a 64th of a power. I put it in my pocket and I just shoot. And that way, I'm not turning anything off. I'm not turning the trigger off. I'm not turning the flash off. Um, the only thing I have to do then, obviously, is I, I have to use the dial on here when I need to use it again because I'm not, I'm not going to use 64th of a power almost ever. I'm usually firing this at quarter of a power, half power. So I need to turn the dial, you know, and get it and get that back up. Um, and so the dial gets a, a lot of usage, but the dial holds up way better than the power switch. So I'd rather deal with the dial than the power switch on the flash or on the trigger. So that's my workaround. That's how I get around it is that I turn it on. I don't turn it off till I'm leaving the property. I just simply put it in my pocket. In between shots I just make sure it's at a low enough power that it's gonna have zero impact on any shots where I'm just using ambient light available okay so I hope that helps you out this is a great light 
best compact light I've ever owned. Um, it, it is a killer light for 99%, well, I shouldn't say 99, 90 to 95% of the properties I shoot, it's all I need. So it's a fantastic light. It's just that the power switch, you can, you can fry it by just overusing it. it, it makes sense. It's just something that Godox probably has to work on a little bit and fix in their design. Um, you know, when they when they go to maybe remodel that or make it a little bit better, they should probably work on that. But in the meantime, it's not a big deal at all just to turn it down, put it in the pocket, be done with it. So I hope that helps you out. If there's any questions, comments, leave them down below. Check out my links, check out my other goodies down there, whatever it is. Uh, just show me some love. Uh, we'll talk to you soon with another video. Keep making great photos, taking great photos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.